So Manchester United beat three Crystal Palace yesterday, three goals to nil. In this video, what I'm going to do is tell you guys five things we learned from that game. How Eric uh, Ten Hag uh, has uh, kind of, I wouldn't say changed Manchester United, but the area where he is working mostly on the Manchester United team. So guys, just give me 10 minutes of your time. And please guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you like, clicking the like. You are the one bringing in new subscribers to the channel. All our supporters, all our fans for this Facebook group, in the Facebook group, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. The link is here. So we can build a bigger community and uh, your voice could be heard through the platform. So let's go to number one. Number one, what Ten Hag has brought. If you watched the game yesterday, if you didn't watch, just listen. Ten Hag has brought that uh, unity. You might ask, oh, Rob, where was the unity in a couple of weeks? I mean, sometimes you need to you need to pin, pin, uh, pin on it. You need to be hard on players to, to make them understand what you want. These players earn a lot of money. You, I mean, these are things that are not even, they are seen on the pitch, but they are walked out of the pitch. That unity, when you have players who are ready to fight for other players. That game yesterday, Crystal Palace wasn't a bad side. There were, they, there were periods where the same Crystal Palace team has come to Manchester United and given us a game. So I was very happy like when you saw uh, uh, players like, um, you, you saw like uh, Casemiro, you know, whenever he, he wanted to go like in front on a counter attack, you will see Amrabat to come and cover him. You see like, um, I can see the, 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 the work rate of younger players, which uh, brought uh, us that success in terms of the cohesion of the way we played. Talking about younger players, that's the second thing. United, uh, Ten Hag is trying to bring in young blood in Manchester United. So new young guys from our academy. Um, um, talking about academy, Hannibal, who had a more or less average game, but he had more time to play. Uh, I'm not trying to criticize players here. I'm trying to tell you what I noticed. And guys, if you have noticed something of the game also, tell me what you noticed because, you know, it's something new. Uh, the game before this, we were dominated with position and yesterday we played in a very comfortable way. I'm interested to know what people of talk sports are going to talk about Ten Hag. I'm interested to hear all those useless critics in the UK, what they'll talk about uh, uh, Ten Hag. I'm not against criticism. I'm against when you have an agenda on the club and that is what I really don't like. So, yeah. So, what I like, the second thing, is that youth. The fact that we used a lot of youth in that game. We had um, Pelestri who played his, uh, his, I mean, who played really well. He was uh, very good defensively as offensive-wise. I think um, uh, also a player which I, I was impressed with in this game today was Ganacho. Um... I heard most of you saying, oh, Marcus Rashford has lost his position with Manchester United, that Ganacho, um, Ganacho will uh, take Rashford's place. I don't think Ganacho will take Rashford's place. I think uh, Rashford is the main player of Manchester United. But what will happen is Rashford will have to up his game and also score goals uh, for Man United. That is uh, important because Ganacho has something in him that whenever he comes into a game, you can see his presence. You can see that he wants to grow. He reminds me of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, he reminds me of Cristiano Ronaldo when he was young, when Cristiano Ronaldo wanted to be that best player in the world. Ganacho has those threats. Maybe not the talent hasn't exploded yet, but you agree with me that he wants to He wants to succeed. That is my point. I'm saying I'm talking about Ganacho. So the other thing I have noticed, uh, which I noticed clearly here yeah, in this game, um, was uh, Amrabat, which I must talk, I must, we, we must mention Amrabat in this game because Amrabat was clearly uh, the player which uh, made for me the difference. I know we have seen Casemiro. Casemiro is a Manchester United player. Casemiro is a player which we know already for a year. Casemiro is a player which you know very well that in terms of um, organizing the game, he's really good. But we had a player which we brought to this season, Amrabat, the captain of Morocco national team, whom we are all hoping to merge with Casemiro on the holding side because if you know, most of the goals we have taken has come from the center of the pole. And Amrabat proved yesterday in that game that he has the agility he has the tenacity he is uh he can play he is very flexible in the way he plays i think amrabat will be a good player for manchester united you know what i heard somebody saying in one of um uh fan channels talking about oh amrabat he played for for um for watford why is manchester united going for watford players so let me tell you guys something those are people who don't understand football they don't understand football those are really kids those are what i call tiktok fans who just started supporting football, not Manchester United, like 10, 15 years. It doesn't mean that Harry Maguire is not playing well for Manchester United. <clears throat> it doesn't mean he, will play, he won't play well for another team. So please, guys, you guys should grow up and, uh, and 
you know, uh, be matured, uh, uh, agree things the way they are. I think uh, Amrabat, what we have here with Amrabat here, is a player which fits the Ten Hag system. If Amrabat didn't fix the Ten Hag system, we would not go for such a loan. Because don't forget, Manchester United did not have the money. United really did not have the money to buy Am Amrabat. This is what uh, we, we were told, even Fabrizio Romano. That's why we went, we went clearly for, um, we went clearly for, for a loan, a loan to buy. So he will be in the budget for next season. Uh, what is going on here? Playback. Okay. So he will be uh, a loan here for next season. So um, yeah, yeah, we go with um. Uh, so the, the other thing I noticed in the game also right yesterday was uh, the way we distributed with the goalkeeper. I think uh, the goalkeeper, it was very important that we had a clean sheet, second clean sheet we had with Onana. With goalkeeping, as uh, one of um, our previous goalkeeper, I had his interview once, uh, Ben Foster said, it is just important for goalkeeper to be fine in the head. So with goalkeeping, you have only two two actions to to, 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 to to prove yourself in the game. And uh, guess what? The two actions yesterday, the two balls which uh, Onana saved yesterday, I think he's going to give him a great deal of confidence. So I'm very happy with the way Onana is. And um, also you can see that there were some bits and quits here with um, Onana and Harry Magwe. Talking about Harry Magwe, you know very well my opinion about Harry Magwe. I think Harry Magwe isn't good enough to play for Manchester United. This is not a ha me hating Harry Magwe. It's just a fact that Ari Magwe isn't good to play for Manchester United. So um, I think we have to find a way of Manchester Manchester Ari Magwe. By the way, Harry Magwe had a very good game. <laughs> you see, Harry Magwe had a good game yesterday. He was a bit, um, you can see that he has walked a lot. Let me tell you something. There are certain things that kill the player like Harry Magwe for Manchester United. United is the crown jury, right? United is the club which... Um, People expect United, when you are United, you need to give your best. You need to be your best. The interview Ari Magwe gave about uh, uh, to, to, the, to the press that he has nothing to prove, it did, uh, it did play a negative role on his image and in his thinking, the way fans think about him, Manchester United. It is important for us to, to, uh, to agree with that. So the, 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 it, he, he was mar he was he wasn't uh, well advised, I would say. Harry Magwe. So the reason why he did, when he did that interview, you saw he had a great fallout with the Manchester United fans. I think uh, by now he knows that he, he is technically to be blamed for that interview. So tell me what you think about um, Harry Magwe's uh, performance because I think uh, uh, Harry Magwe had um, no, a more than average game. But what I noticed is it's not like he, 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 he pulled on trees. What Harry Magwe did mostly was he was a bit quicker than what we know. I mean, his liberation of the ball was a bit quicker. And this is because when you bring in new players into your team, they help to push you up. They help to push up your playing style. You need to meet that standard. So um, I am uh, really happy for that. The other thing that we learned from this game is... Uh, the other thing we learned from this game... The other thing we learned from this game is the attacker, Rasmus Holland. We know that uh, uh, Marshall, who played the game, Marshall had a very good game for me. Marshall was really top in this game today, um, yesterday. I think Marshall was the guy who... I'm happy that he scored his goal. Very difficult to play as a nine for Manchester United, but I think I'm happy... What I'm happy is if we can keep our players fit. I think we have doubles in every position. I think if we can do something very positive, tell me what you think below because I'm very positive about this Manchester United set. So Marsha also was a plus. So the way going, um, and the last thing I liked in this film, this game is the manager, Ten Hag did something he hasn't done for a long time. And let me explain to you what, what he did. He brought in a lot of youth. I know I said it in the first, uh, in the first, uh, my as my first point, but he brought in a lot of youth. He brought in Dan Gore. He brought in, uh, you know, I mean, so he, he kept Van de Beek out of uh, Manchester United and, brought, um, and, 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 and uh, he brought Van de Beek only when uh, Hannibal had an injury. So that proves the point that Ten Hag really wants to give youth a chance with the team. Would, uh, if we can manage to, to, to control teams in this tournament, Ten Hag, I think Ten Hag is going to do a hell of a rotate um, uh, when it comes to Manchester United. So uh, tell me what you think below. It just happened we have freezed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.